Resident experts have to say on Impulse's commanding win. Thank you, Riv. Commanding is right. An extremely yeah. one-sided match there for Team Impulse. But I want to look at the individual who was the catalyst for such a one-sided game in Rush. Yeah. You know, it's, it continually amazes me that he's willing to pick Lee Sin into a meta that is widely considered to be a tank jungler meta. Yeah, so one, it's interesting that the catalyst of this game wasn't even a mana user, so he's not even itemizing properly. But <laughs> um, yeah, so, so the reason basically that the, the tanks are so common now is because their top end is so high. Right? Warrior enchant junglers, junglers in general don't get a whole lot of money. And so if you don't have tank stats from the start or the multiplicative stats of Cinder Hulk, you just start dying late game. And so the risk averse strategy is just pick something that scales, farm a whole bunch. People are pretty good at not getting ganked. So you're useful no matter what. Um, Team Impulse aren't like that. Team Impulse are not a risk averse <laughs> type team. These guys will blind pick Yasuo. Uh, and, and Rush gets to go be his impulsive self and play Lee Sin. And the risks, of course, pay off. And that's the kind of game they want to play. Of course it works. When it works, they look like geniuses. When it doesn't work, they look like idiots. But that's impulse, love them or hate them. That's how they want to play. Yeah, and I personally love that style because it's always great to watch. And you hear legends about his Lee Sin in scrims where he'll make the team GG at seven minutes. That was one of those games right there where it's like 11 minutes in, you're like, yeah, we want to do over of that first <laughs> 11 minutes. Let, let's, just, let's just remake. Mercy, um, please. But the thing with Rush is he makes those 50-50 plays so often, and it's so hard to read him as a jungler. I was talking to a bunch of teams, and they were like, yeah, I don't know how to read him. I don't know why he's on that side of the map at that time. Like, it seems stupid, but he gets something out of it. So when you remake the game after seven minutes, you're like, okay, I got him this time, and then it happens he's Somewhere again. else instead. And sometimes he goes for those plays that you were talking about where he just dives in, he gets himself killed, and he's further behind. He's almost out of the game because it's tank meta, right? Yeah. And then it, the only way to get himself back in is to make an even more rash play <laughs> to try and just get in as a hero. Yeah. And then when that fails, you're like, okay, now we are the ones GGing at 10 minutes. Yeah. So... The fact that Rush is willing to pull, pull those off on the stage is just great to watch, and I love it. Yeah, and that's the thing about any kind of early game gank. It's practically impossible to have perfect ward control. There are some worlds which you can, but most early plays don't have perfect vision, and you're like, look, if the jungler was doing Gromp, well, we got counter ganked. If he's doing any other camp, it's fine. And one out of the four times they're doing Gromp, and you either look like an idiot or like a genius. And that's, that's kind of some of the more specific manifestations of, like, how those risky plays can pay out. All right, so Team Impulse, a team that's not afraid to take risks. I want to fast forward to tomorrow's matchup against Team Liquid, who is another team that is not afraid to take risks. Them more so, or as well, in their champion picks. You look at Quas, yep. most unique top lane champions in the spring split, tied for the most unique top lane picks in this split, playing five different champions over the first five games. Yep. And then even so much so, in the jungle, we see Dominate pull out Echo, having only played the champion ten times, he says. And that's going to be an interesting matchup then if Team Liquid are happy to keep experimenting. And, and they said as much in the interview with you an hour ago where they're like, yeah, it's regular season. I mean, it matters enough, but they've got a lot of circuit forms from their third place finish last split. Like, they're practically guaranteed to get into the postseason gauntlet anyway. Uh, so, yeah, it's, it's sort of the, what TSM was doing at the end of spring. Like, try a bunch of stuff, figure out what's good. Um, I'm glad teams are willing to experiment at, you know, that quickly. Two scrims go for it. I want to see teams do that more often. I think it's a very strong thing because you will never be predictable. And even if you only get it right like one out of every three times, if it takes you two scrims to try, you got a lot of new champions every single week. Hmm. That's a good way to think about it as well because the other, the other team has to think about how to play against it. Because when I was watching that game with Team Liquid, they were still treating, the enemy was still treating Echo as a primary threat even though he was a jungler. So like his base damages are high, fine, but Ish, he's not yeah. going to blow up Incarnation, but they kept throwing things at him to try and get him out of the fight. So, like, they're blowing Emperor's Divide and stuff. So, adjusting to those things mid-game is something that throws your opponents off guard very heavily. But something I want to talk about with Team Liquid is, and we haven't actually touched on them, like, in this part, is Piglet mm -hmm. is really integrated in now. Like, he's showing up to these fights ahead of time. They're knowing where to point that gigantic cannon on the team and it's working out for them so they're coming together tip they also have a lot of coming together and that we've been seeing and we did hear team liquid say we don't think they're as together as they can be mm -hmm. so these two teams the matchup tomorrow is really going to be which team has been ha has had the fluidity in their roster now yeah and, and i do want to actually as you talked about piglet doing so well it, it actually speaks a little bit to that team liquid willing to take risks 
Beginning of spring split, Keith was working and Piglet wasn't, but they believed that Piglet was going to work out. They essentially took the risk that he was the worthy pickup, and lo and behold, he's amazing. Yeah. yeah, tomorrow is sure to be an exciting match. We heard a lot of confidence on the desk from Team Liquid earlier. Keep it tuned right here because in just a few minutes, we'll be bringing you another battle for first place with Gravity Challenging Counter Logic Gaming. Stay with us. All right, let's ban nothing. Yep. yep. We just want a timeout. <laughs> they need to make like a new icon, like, oh, a, black, oh. like a black box. Yeah, yeah. For just for us. Please, <laughs> please, please. Putting up the tree wall here. Here comes Apollo. Now on the hunt is delivered to the rest of the team. He can activate that oh. wherever he wants. Bishu, 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 Bishu. Coming, 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 coming. Mid, bah, 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 bah. But it's going to be a lockdown to Xiao Wei Xiao, taken from 1 million to 0. Xiao Wei Xiao, just gigantic this game. 8-0-5 with Blanc to win the game.